Hello guys, welcome to the episode 31 of this series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and I shall be uploading one episode every day till it ends. So at the moment I am into the MVC part of the series and I will be walking through the data annotation validation attributes in the customer model class of this client MVC application in this lecture. Since these episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones, I request you to go through them before viewing this one. There are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials through to the end. And finally, a request to subscribe to this channel and share it with the like-minded people so that you don't miss any episodes. And so, now, by the end of this lecture, we shall know how to add data annotation validation attributes to the customer model for a step towards the server-side validation. Now, when we say server-side validation, we mean that, you know, validate, validating a form for all valid values or legit values, or it validates if the form is submitted to the server without filling any data or um, data of a different type or not according to a certain condition which will be taken care by data annotation validators. So let's flip over to Visual Studio now. So the model validation is actually it refers to the action when the form data is posted to the controller action. The action is automatically mapped to the action parameter by the model binder. Now the model needs to be validated for correctness. These validations can be done at the client side before sending data to the server or at the server side when the data is received from the client. The client side validation is important because of the better user experience while the server side validation should ensure that invalid data doesn't enter the system. Okay, so let's first I'll have to uh, go work on the models, the customer folder customer.cs customer model and what I have to do is I have to use a namespace system.componentModel.data annotations so just follow me and I will make everything clear now ID doesn't need to be validated because ID field is anyway null is not accepted it will be auto generating on the database on the sql server so i don't need to validate the id it cannot get away without the id anyway so the other fields that are no, uh, that are null id is non null that's why the validation is not required but other field are null so, so in order to check that you know the user cannot just get away with not entering any um, valid or any uh, entry on the form fields and get can submit to the servers submit the form so that that is um, what is prevented by this server side validation so first required error message I can just put a, a custom message so this because this is a name field please put a name and then address so I am keeping it just simple the error message will be please put a name and similarly for other fields because if I don't put an error message, it will still be required. But in that case, it will be a built-in error message, something like, you know, name field is required or address field is required like that. So I can just customize that message to be more friendly. Okay, so please put address. Here, just to validate because telephone 
who was a varchar or n varchar on the database and uh, that means it is the string equivalent is required on the c sharp side so it i will have to put a message something like that please put a valid general expression and general message say a valid 10 digit telephone number which is a local cell phone number mobile number and then i will put another attribute that is a regular expression attribute so i'll come to that in a bit regular expression and that regular expression will be it's on my clipboard now this regular expression sees validates a 10 digit any 10 digit number and which is a general number for a local uh, mobile cell phone okay Finally, the validation message and the regular expression for validating the email field. Please put a valid email and regular expression is this. That it has to be in the email format. Okay. So, a b at the rate of c dot c or c dot com or something like that. A b c at hotmail dot com or b c d at gmail dot com like that. So, this regular expression validates the email. Okay. We have already done the uh, validation attributes for the customer model.